Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Nishav. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on a shared hosting cPanel on a specific domain name. So here we are. This is cPanel. I'm using Namechip shared hosting cPanel. And what you need to do basically once you are in the cPanel, you're logged in. Go ahead and look for this software installer, SoftQless app installer you can click on it i'm going to open it in a new tab or you can go down here at the very bottom soft QLess app installer and click here as well so i'm going to open this in a new tab and this will take you to directly installation page here and similar thing will happen here as well so but but you'll get all the software that soft QLess has to offer you can choose any software here Joomla these are the biggest name in CMS world and then what you have to do simply say install and this will take you to the same page installation page so now if you click here install you will be on the same page so I'm going to close one of these tabs here and then you can select the version of a WordPress that you want to install so this is the latest one and then select this HTTP because we have not yet configured HTTPS most of these uh, service provider want you to sell the HTTPS but if you have one already purchased you can just select HTTP and then select your domain name so I'm going to use this tubemate.com that's the domain name that I have and I want to install WordPress on it I and then I'm going to choose the site name so that's going to be Tubement uh, uh, Technology Blog, and then I'm going to choose the username and a password. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've chosen a username and a password. Now you can go ahead and select your specific language. I've chosen English. Login attempt. If you want to limit it, you can definitely go ahead and check this box. And this is going to install a plugin called Loginizer. Classic editor, if you do not like the block editor, also called Gutenberg editor, the latest WordPress editor by default, you can check this box and this is going to install plugin, classic editor plugin, okay. And then advanced options, go ahead and click on it. And this is going to be the name of the database. Uh, prefix, you can change it, disable, update, notification, email, and auto upgrade. So do not upgrade auto update WordPress plugin I would like to check it uh, I don't want theme to be updated automatically backup is going to be uh, default location then once a week uh, and that's all for this Auto backup auto upgrade here we are so that's all for this theme selection I do not want to inst um, install any themes here. Then you have to enter your email address. So simply go ahead and type email address where you want everything to be sent. So this email address will receive all the login information. So go ahead and just recheck everything. You selected 5.3. You selected this domain. You've given the site name, site description and we do not want to use multi-site we have selected used a username chosen a username and a password email address that's going to be admin email address for this wordpress installation or for this domain you can see we've chosen the language and then we do not want any plugins here plugin sets you can go ahead and click and and look at these plugin sets PHP what we have okay so that nothing specifically this is just if you want to select these plugin to be installed with the installation advanced option you can go ahead and minimize it or if you want to just check them make some changes backup location uh, default you can choose the backup location automated backup once a week rotation for whatever it is okay manage theme sets you can select the themes as well if you like something here 
if you do not want to get the what we call it um, default theme by WordPress you can select here from okay there may be free themes and paid ones as well now once you have entered your email address where you want to receive all the login information database information go ahead and type in here and say install so it's going to take just a few seconds and install the WordPress so now if you go ahead and open this in a new tab you will have your WordPress installed with the default theme so this is your WordPress installation in a cPanel shared hosting if you have any question any suggestion please leave in the comment below and this is how you can uh, log into the WordPress site admin area so just type in WP sorry slash WP admin and this will take you to this admin area so I've already something here now I can go ahead and log in wonderful if you see this HTTPS this is basically pre-configured on this domain so you can do that so that's how you can install WordPress on a shared hosting via cPanel using soft queueless software installer so app installer yeah or software installer thank you again and have a good day bye for now goodbye